It's reconnaissance. There are options here. You can put a ridiculous early game can come out in time here and pull them through. Oh, but I crap. think I, if... need... I need to reset my Dota, man. Oh, you got the bug. Slowly but surely. Yeah, it's still not the most favorable lane for this tiny until he gets to the point where he can nuke people. But over on top, it's gonna be a one for one trade as Lion goes down. Uh, we did see it lose in Kuala Lumpur, right? Yeah, and I do think that's mostly down to the tempo. That's mostly down to how much can you get done during the early game. Over on top, Pudge is taking a lot of pressure. They are gonna go for the dive here, and a few more right clicks onto Mugushi are gonna do it. Pudge is gonna hit the floor. Huge carry more kill there. Then enough as Dendi's getting pressured on the mid lane. The to go for a bait play there with the gyrocopter, but Lion got out, so Sweden Strong is also gonna roam onto the mid lane instead. Where Mary Y will be caught. That's gonna be a dead crystal maiden. On One more hit. <laughs> Dandy, no. Up against Dyer's three. I don't think he wants to take this brawl. Attack. Oh, the illusion rune spawning top. Messed up Bates' plan. Yeah, big time. Not being on bottom. Seven minutes. Maybe a setup on the stone bank. Nah, they want to get. They want to get those runes. Yeah, everyone just rushing for those runes, but Stomon Yen got it. Even if he dies for that. He's happy about it. Stonebank. <laughs> Always worth it for us. Team fight online. Once they have that team fight combo, this game can actually turn out insanely fast for bait too. That's why I'm so undecided about this game still. Because I can see Klimsania do this, but right Radiant's now they aren't getting the pressure down on the laning attack. stage, and they may even lose their bad rider. Over on the bottom lane is Cloud with a nice Molotov, keeping himself alive just a little bit extra. But it's not gonna be long enough. But I think. Mukushi with the Veil of Discord signing himself for, up for the later Shiva's Guard with a new build. That is interesting. Of course, no one's building hard on tanks anymore. As uh, up top again, again, Stone Bank. Well, well, well. Arena yeah. gets destroyed. <laughs> Even with the arena, well, it was just really a matter of time with how much magical damage there Radiant's is. And here's top. that point where Mars attack. just really doesn't do that well against Pacha anymore. And the best thing he can do now is start roaming, start going around with the arena. But over on mid lane, Bounty Hunter will be caught as a bit of a bonus kill with the ensnares from the bear. Is now Batrider may be able to get Mary Y set up for a kill. But even then, it's only a crystal Radiant's made for all those big kills. As Dandy will secure the Bounty Hunter with the bear oh, i'm actually looking pressure. at the smoke up onto mid lane yeah they're looking for a mars arena i'm looking at it too but they're still taking their time as they don't really have the good vision on mid now they're gonna find two and it is gonna be respect that for sure with the tiny no they turn around Are on the sure? again holy crap respect lives with like one hp and now everybody else is coming in for the turnaround attempt. A bit of an unfortunate toss there as Dendi's bear is instead tearing Batrider a new one now. But... Very casual re-summons from Dendi. Yeah, they're Last keeping up the pressure. And a nice avalanche into the patch ultimate that's gonna be a dead crystal maiden for another flash heap two man earth spike though and with the mars spear that's gonna be one dead with another one getting set up on as cloud will be ticking out not quite yet the lasso comes through the bear will be stunned and killed off no bear for 80 seconds Oh, and no. Stonebank dead as well. This is uh, exactly that mid rotation we were looking for from Klim. Soon, though, with the Alchemist, everything is still to be decided. Looking at the Dota win rate, it also still says it's barely in favor of bait. Now, exactly 50 50, actually. But, yeah, as long as the Alchemist has missed his timing, it's not over. While well, Lion will just deliver London. another flash. Oh, and by then, again. As well. Oh, no. This is so bad for bait. But at the same time, so good for Klimsani. This is exactly the rotation we were looking for from them. Yeah, now Klimsani are never gonna let go of that aggression as they scout yeah. out the Crystal Maiden and this Bounty Hunter pick is really paying off for them, printing even more cash. Just keep Team. on choking them, honestly. Marcus Patch already got an Aghanim Scepter coming in, and this is really the timing that Klimsani were waiting for to play aggressively. 
That's a hook on Dandy, and yeah, he may be uh, he may be famous for being a really good punch and having invented that fountain hook. But Dandy, at the end of the day, he's just another flash heap to Munkushi. Uh, the Gyrocopter, they are still struggling in the back lines if they get caught out. So having that extra save for Radiant's them can pay off attack. immensely as now Tiny goes forward, goes for a toss back onto Stoman Yen, but out comes a beautiful Mars Arena to try and turn that fight around as Chad with the two men's none is going to keep them at bay and the freezing field is delivering so much damage for the side of Bait who just buy back their Lion Chad about to go down and that's gonna be a dead Alchemist still in exchange for Lion now fingering down that punch as Dandy loses the bear one once again, Bad Rider probably dead for that bear, though there is still a Tiny, and Tiny will snipe off Stone Bank. They're gonna keep going, Cloud will be the follow-up, and then he finally hits the floor. They're just gonna keep throwing heroes at this, but it's a rampage for Chira Jr. and Chira Jr. Coming for a little while, they won't. They will actually group up on the mid lane now, as Chira Jr. has a shield rune, and with that the Tiny is just about unkillable. Will jump the Crystal Maiden, and that's just an instant kill on Mary Y. Gonna look for more. Sweden strong. Needs to be careful. Will walk under the ward. Will be dusted up now. As Gyrocopter is gonna try to buy him some space from behind. But that bounty hunter will just be locked out. Tiny, however, gets revenge onto Dandy. And that is gonna be the mid laner for just the support. So Klimsani, they once again take a beautiful trade. Chira Jr. still holding on. Alchemist with the BKB reveal this time around. He is looking to make the most of this fight. As both the Gyrocopter and the Tiny are taking low. Stoman Yen will go down but for that they got the huge killing streak on Chira Jr. finally ended Mary Wine once more with that freezing field they're not really getting a lot of damage onto anyone but it did zone people away from everybody except Mary Wine Mary Wine goes on down but the hook the hook onto Alchemist and that's gonna be the bonus kill triple kill for Monkushi as Stonebank tried to teleport out of there but he is not gonna make it another bonus kill another flash heap 11 flash heaps on this patch who is just looking too darn good and they decide to do so with a smoke attempt as they are gonna run down the top lane from the looks of it. I'm on the back curious to see you there wishing to find a sea sweep and strong. Mars has been caught as well, so Sweden Strong will be killed up on that bounty hunter, but in exchange for that, Stone Bank goes down, and that is the bigger kill once again, going to... It's also the more valuable kill for one reason. They haven't been aggressive for the last minute or so while the bounty hunter was respawning, and they needed to get new wards done after he had respawned, because it's not that fun being aggressive if you don't get the track gold. And now oh, bounty hunter sure. is back, and they are gonna get another kill onto Stoman Yen. Yet another track the one on top of Radiant net worth and it is gonna be bait looking to initiate the smoke's gonna break to the tiny though Moves forward. Oh my god, he just blinks without vision into a three-man avalanche. And it's gonna be a hook, killing off the Crystal Maiden. And Stone makes set up for death. He gets a nice arena, but a nice arena alone isn't gonna save him from Chira Jr. As now Chira gets the BKB out. Chad will BKB TP himself. Makes sure to just get away from that fight. As Dendi is still running for his life. Dendi will lose that bear, and he will lose his own life from the looks of it as well. The respect on the gyrocopter just delivering so much need to keep standing for another 10 minutes and then suddenly the game will look doable for bait again or will it question is do they have 10 minutes but tiny taking a lot of damage there a stone bank is already dead though Shira jr will be able to turn around kill off that bear from dandy once again and without that Mars, Dendi is now just going to get chased. He is on his way in the fountain with one to live. He will live just barely. And maybe Gyrocopter has gotten a little bit too greedy. As yeah, Gyrocopter will be killed off. Respect gets one death up. Once again, but I mean, besides maybe killing Sweden Strong, what else are you gonna get? Track instantly shows where you are. Kushi. Oh, respect coming in with a big nice nice play from the bounty hunter and it then he's just gone going to be so much burst damage as Stoman Yen is stuck in the patch as everybody else focuses on stone bank knowing full well the Mars with his arena is one of the most dangerous heroes on the enemy team as the crystal maiden in the back lines gets ran down by respect before they ever arrive
And well, they are kind of deep. Are they going to find some stragglers? Oh, no, Shad. That's going to be another flash heap. Shira Jr. going for the catch. Forcing out Stonebank. BKB as Stonebank is just going to teleport out of there. Zaman Yen, however, will die for that. And not just Zaman Yen, it's Crystal Maiden also. Another squishy support. Gets Dagon down by Mukushi. Dagon Patch, you don't see that every day either. But hence where Alchemist hit his crucial timing. Because at this point, I think even if they manage oh, to get a good initiation, there's the good initiation. They will do a lot of damage to everyone, but as you can see, they're just so tanky. Nobody is at half health yet. Well, Dendi is already dead, and that's just the issue. They realize they can kill nobody. They have no more damage to kill anybody with, and GG gets called. It's a really sad ending to what was a decent game, all things considered. But I'm gonna go Klimsani for sure. Gloss and the, the Vex are just so good on lane, comparatively. As I miss first blood again. This time it's gonna be up top on Sweden. Try to dive top, but once again, Mary White turns around with the blood grenade with a ton of magical damage coming out after he eats another one of those mangoes, and that's just gonna be a dead doom. Sani just wanna keep the laning stage slow and just wanna keep it chill. That will mean that Alchemist definitely has to come online in this raid. Rotation well, onto the mid lane. Uh oh. Yeah, this stone sword is just dead. Chira Jr., nothing he can do without any mana. Again, they're gonna go for it. Oh, this is a risky play right here from Bay. I mean, they're just gonna sneak in for the rune timing. Hoping that the enemy doesn't have vision there, and indeed so far they don't, so Dendi he reveals that he's there as now everybody is going to burst down that doom and cloud. He will just be wrecked. The rune will go the way of the Grimstroke as Sweden Strong, even if he die, dies for this, it's worth it, but he wants to get Mary Y before dying as he will be taken down by Stomanyan. Stomanyan on the Gyro Cup looking for more, but isn't quite gonna get it on the Phoenix. That would be a barely positive that Cloud can make an easy comeback here. Well, maybe not that easy as now Phoenix is going to be caught out with a Gyrocopter missile, but Shira Jr. comes in to try and save his life. Gyrocopter will still get that kill, but Dendi is in some hot water as Storm Spirit hit after hit will just be chipping him down. Dendi killed off. Colonel doesn't even need to be engaged from Munkushi. Echo Saber, you said. No, 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 no. The quarter staff for the Echo Saber. But you don't need a quarter step for the Echo Saber anymore. You need a oh, broad sword true. instead of the quarter step. That's oh, what I said. Oh, my bad. That's what I was confused by. You said Battle Fury. Hello. Uh, no, Stoman I said N? that you also need for the Battle Fury. But yes, Stoman Yen on the Gyrocopter is going to get caught out. Hello, Stoman Yen? Stoman Yen? No, those are just... Okay, fine. What the hell is going it. on with Dota, man? Is this even Dota anymore? Well, speaking of Dota, it's gonna be some Dota played against that faceless fight who will be ganked on the bottom lane as they know he does not have a Chronosphere, but even if you would have it, he's Klimsani 4. Looking for vengeance. We'll find the Alchemist, but can they kill him with an ultimate? It's gonna be tough. Phoenix is gonna drop the egg to try and deliver the damage and it will be enough. Huge kill. So this trade-off definitely benefits Klimsani more at the end of the day. This is a pretty solid moves coming out from Klimsani. Trying to mitigate Shad's impact in the game as uh, Cloud still goes down. Shad he had the and Dendi. Doom, but he didn't have mana after a good EMP from Dendi, so Stormspirit is just going to be sitting in the back lines. Like, thankfully, they Chira? didn't see me yet. And they're going to try again onto Chira. Well, uh, with Chira, will get the kill onto Shad there as Dendi. Now that Chronos, you're being threatened, and the tier 1 is already dead, but. Yeah, there's a Chronosphere on the Gyrocopter. Dendi not really able to save him against that much. He is just gonna sit on the sidelines watching that kill no, and face this void. Sees. Now starting to look extremely scary. As soon as he sees the three, he doesn't want to make the move as onto Mukushi throws the cold staff and the combo, but... It's going to be fine, but that is a huge cooldown used from the Night Stalker. In comes the Gyrocopter to try and balance that out as Phoenix is running for his life from the call down. But with Zendi, they're going to catch him and we'll make that kill happen. And then it makes a lot of sense, because that moment the Alchemist starts joining the fights with like a BKB plus a Blink Dagger, hypothetically speaking, of course. He is going to still have to stick More on top of people. Speaking of sticking on top of people, yeah. 
Storm Spirit is gonna do just that to the Invoker. Nice tornado to try and create enough space for Dandy to get away. Out comes the Grimstroke ultimate, but a counter Crystal Maiden ult will make sure that the Invoker survives. Dandy's still alive as Sweet and Strong steps just that little bit too far forward and oh, will die as well. The dodges from Dandy, absolutely not viable. In my eyes I right completely now. agree. So as on the mid lane, Phoenix is going to get killed off by every. No, actually, he gets the ultimate out with Sweden Strong saving him just in time with the Inkswell. Though he is still gonna die. In comes Face and Void with a beautiful turn on Dendi. As Dendi is gonna be killed off with the Storm Spirit. Crystal Maiden still ulting, but Shira Jr. is gonna interrupt that. Will die for the interruption though. As Alchemist taking to the Doom, but Cloud is dying too quickly. Face this void, just needs to get out of there. He realizes that. Is now trying to run, but Munkushi, what can he really do against this many heroes sitting on top of him? So looking for the BKB now, Stonebank. Oh, Stonebank. Will catch the face this void, face this void, silenced up, trying to time walk out of there. Will time walk off some of the damage, but is stunned in the back lines. Alchemist instead runs down, respect, respect, taking to that Radiance. One more hit and that Phoenix is gonna die. Alchemist gets kited, but the Radiance will finish the job as Munkushi has to run for his life, will be ink swelled up. Alchemist has pressed the BKB, looking for more as that concoction is gonna come on out onto the Doom. Nice Grimstroke ultimate, but there's the Sunstrike from Dendi as Cloud will be killed off once again on that Doom of his. Sweden Strong has to dodge the Dendi combo, but he's stuck between death and more death, so he is dead. And self-cast now. Yep, as three people are gonna jump Stonebank. Where's that Pavis when he needs it? Well, not here, as Stonebank is just going to die. Dyer's middle tower is taking one hell of a beating. Opponent's already on the courier. As yeah, Chura Jr. as well. Radiance Middle Tower is back. Chad oh. wants to use the last minutes on his. Oh my god, the Chronos has two in the back lines. Andy dead. And that's gonna be Storman Yen caught. Sweden Strong will die to the Alchemist, but Alchemist, all he does is get his support for pretty much his entire backline dying. The Grimstroke support is going to buy back as they have spotted Shad and they say they can kill him twice until the Night Stalker comes in at least with a very nice and clean silence. But out comes the Doom countering out the Night Stalker again. Respect will be dying but so will the Night Stalker as now Alchemist the last one alive with that Aegis still. But no room to go for some aggression but Klimsani also want to try to take control of this game with a good Doom initiation. Stonebank still has a minute and a half. He might need to use Dark Ascension here to be more effective. At diving in and jumping in onto Cloud. Like, that would be the big pickoff, honestly. As they're looking in. Phoenix will be the first one targeted, silenced up so he cannot defend himself. Phoenix immediately buying back a space by lands the Chrono onto two, will be focusing down Dendi while Alchemist gets doomed up, cannot defend himself anymore either. Alchemist ticking down as that is one kill, that is a double kill for Mukushi. Alchemist taken out of that fight for 70 seconds and now the Night Stalker the last one alive. Maybe he can get a bonus kill out of that one, but even then Stoneback is still gonna die after that triple kill of his. So Yen, the next one to get chased after trying to defend himself with those missiles. Can he make it though as he is time dilated? He will be caught. And that is gonna be a full-blown team wipe for three heroes with the Phoenix dying back for that one. Unstable not doing much from Shad. They force the Faceless Void back, but they don't know that Chira is here with an Invis rune. Being obnoxious is now Chira that pings out Dendi and they once again catch the Invoker as their first target. Invoker with the BKB manages to jump out of there as Alchemist turning onto the Storm Spirit. Storm Spirit is blown up with the silence from the Night Stalk, but a double doom with the Grimstroke ultimate onto both the Alchemist and the Night Stalk. Can they go for more on the side of Klimsani? Or are they just gonna back off with that double Doom as it's 7 seconds cooldown on the Chronosphere? Doom will be caught with the turnaround attempt. Cloud able to escape and there's the Chrono onto 2. Night Stalker instantly killed off. There's gonna be Dandy locked down, killed off as well. BKB from the Void used for that Chronosphere so it's now down to 6 seconds. But that is totally worth it despite Luke Junior scouts out the Gyrocopter. Realizes that everybody from the side of bait is in formation. Gives that information to his team. And instead, it's gonna be Crystal Maiden caught with the jump from the Doom. This Crystal Maiden just wanted to deward that high ground. However, face this Void caught by the Alchemist with the Stunner from the Skull Basher. And that's gonna be 85 seconds, no, no Void. 
Doom with the ultimate will try and keep the alchemist contained as now Chira Jr. kills off the crystal main. Actually, will die for that though as alchemist. Look at this, you just got a bash on the first hit every time and the team fight is easy. Aerocopter with the smoke is going to scout out where everyone is. Storm Spirit not yet going to make that jump. Marcus they know everybody is coming in. Tornado dodged. And they will run down the Crystal Maiden first. Which is silence. Can't get out a single spell to defend herself as a beautiful oh, the protocol. Chrono. But then the end, the Alchemist Doom will come out just for good measure to make absolutely sure they are both dead. And that is going to be a very nice a cleanup. Triple buybacks? Whoa, boys, well, boys, the boys, boys. Chronosphere. This is all or nothing now from the side of Fate as the Night Stalk is still in trouble. Stonebank, he's got to run, but he does have the BKB defense. They're coming through the gates. Navi. And Navi, I say Dendi, I mean, burned everybody's mana with a nice combo. But that mana burn from Dendi is going to be where it ends right now. Or they will can't it? can't roach like this, though. and they. But here's Lincoln's feared up. Maybe it's gonna be another Aegis just getting cheesed by the Void as the only one in the pit. Crystal Maiden trying to annoy him a little bit. Faces Void knowing full well the Crystal has already bought back is going to terrify the crap out of Mary. Why? Another tornado comes in. The Crystal Maiden now silenced up, caught us in the back lines. Nice dog also caught by the stairs. Stormford is gonna get turned around on as he did not expect so much damage to come out on top of him from the Cataclysm. Faces White does have a BKB to try and fight this one. Though Faces White is going to go down for the Alchemist, but he has his buyback ready and no qualms about using it with Alchemist being dead for two minutes. Dandy being chased after, he will press his BKB, but the BKB is not enough to allow him to go out. As Gyrocopter got a nice little kill onto Sweden, strong there, a dieback on the Grimstroke no less, but Stormanyan is going to hit the floor for that triple kill for the Storm. Dyer's middle tower has taken one hell of a beat. Paces Void will land the Chronosphere onto the Alchemist to start things off with. It's just the first of two Chronospheres and it will be enough to kill the Alchemist for 100 seconds. As Crystal Maid, stunned up by the Phoenix that isn't long for this world, will be killed up. Night Stalk is still trying to keep them in the game somehow, but out comes a two-man Chronosphere this time around to make sure that the Night Stalk and the Invoker are also just going to die and this is gonna be GG. Oh, come Sonny, beautiful finish right there. Yeah, face this void late game. Double Chronosphere is just too strong. I don't know, there is no hero.